In this video, I will show you how to avoid a costly mistake. One innocent click could cost you your unemployment benefits. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my channel, Phil IP. I want to tell the story of something that happened to me, so that you don't do the same thing if you're ever in my position. I'll run through what happened and how I resolved the issue. So, unfortunately, in June 2024, I was made redundant, so I went ahead and signed on for unemployment benefits. Here in the States, uh, you can only apply for unemployment benefits if you've been working for more than 18 months and were let go for no fault of your own. If you were fired or you left of your own accord, any unemployment benefits you file for will be dismissed. It's also not a set amount. That's determined by your past earnings with a maximum payout of up to $365 a week and for a maximum period of up to six months. There is also a total upper amount, so your benefit may run out before the six months. Luckily for me, my application was approved and part of the process is that you continue to look for work and complete a weekly online form. Things were going great until I did something that I thought was for the best. It turns out I was very wrong. The problem is I clicked on a button that I shouldn't have checked. This one. You see, where I, where I went wrong is that I thought it would be okay if I had a little side hustle to bring in some extra cash. Uh, my rent alone is more than my benefits, so I was looking to find a way to bridge the gap. Uh, by the way, hats off to all you folks out there that make it work each month. It can be a crazy world out there. I looked up online to see if I could, and it was fine so long as you kept within the constraints and remained compliant with the rules. I started to DoorDash, and this in itself is another complete video. Anyway, so long as I declared my earnings from DoorDash, I would be fine. But there's a little tick box that I showed you just now tripped me up, and now, because I clicked it, my unemployment benefit was terminated, and I most likely will not qualify if I were to reapply. Here's what happened. Each week I'd log in and would need to provide details of at least three actions I took to find employment. Once you have added these details, you are presented with three tick boxes asking, one, were you able, available, and actively seeking work for the week? Two, did you refuse any work offered for the week? And three, did you work or earn wages during the week, even if you have not yet been paid for this week? You tick the relevant boxes and if you select yes on the did you earn any wages during the week uh, you are presented uh, with some additional questions asking how much you earned as there is no hourly rate for door dashing i just added the amount i made for the week this is not a mistake and it's perfectly acceptable as you can earn up to an additional 50 dollars anything over that and the amount you earn will be deducted from your allotted allowance for that week. Uh, the mistake is clicking this box. Ticking this box is a huge mistake and don't do it. The reason I thought it was okay to tick this box was that the previous week uh, when I added my earnings, which by the way you should and must do to avoid any future issues should the Department of Labour find that you did receive income. Um, I noticed that I added my earnings from DoorDash for the week, which um, came to $80, and uh, they took my earnings minus the $50 and deducted it from my benefits. And this isn't a problem, but after putting gas into my car and declaring the income, uh, which I would have to pay tax on at the end of the year, I figured it would make more sense to focus my attention on getting a job or making this YouTube video that would bring home a similar figure to my previous employment. Now you're probably thinking, why did I do an additional week of work for DoorDash rather than just stopping after the first deduction? Well, at the time of DoorDashing for the second day, I didn't know about the deductions and from the time I received my benefits and it being paid into my account, uh, I had already worked another day. Um, anyway, I added in the day that I worked, which came to $77, and then I figured that I would no longer DoorDash until I had gained employment, or my unemployment benefits expired 
uh, I thought that by clicking this button I was stating that I wouldn't continue to DoorDash. The Department of Labor takes a very different view on this. Uh, what they mean by this tick box is that if you tick it, you are in fact stating that you have refused work in line with their previous question and that this is now your employer and that you chose to leave of your own accord. This means that if you then try to reapply for unemployment benefits, uh, you would now not meet the criteria. Not only this, but even if you did, the new amounts would be based on what you earned with DoorDash, which um, in my instance is way below what I used to earn. Um, on top of this, another blocker is that DoorDash considers their delivery drivers as contractors. Therefore, even if you still qualified, you'd still fall short as DoorDash uh, would not be responsible for any unemployment benefits. Uh, I called the Department of Labour on this matter and although the person I spoke to was empathetic to my plight, there was little that they could do. They told me that Code 56 had been applied to my account uh, as I had ticked the aforementioned box. I asked if they could just change this and was told it was not possible. After a few days of toing and froing, I ended up going in person to my local Department of Labour office. This was by far the best approach as I got to see someone face to face and it took less than five minutes to explain my situation and have it resolved. Now this applies to the state of Georgia but I'm interested to know if this also applies to other states. Let me know in the comments below so that I and others can learn. So if you do additional jobs like DoorDash to bring in some funds and you either decide not to do it anymore or you didn't earn anything that week, click the yes button and add zero to the amount you earned, but do not, do not click that no button. If this video was in any way helpful to you and you'd like to see where my YouTube journey takes me, stay tuned and consider subscribing to my channel. Take care, be safe and thanks for watching.